All right. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Um, I'm Jared Lansman. I'm on the board for the Bay Area chapter of Vista. Um, so we have some great presentations for you tonight on indoor air quality. Um, before then, I just wanted to give a quick pitch for our next chapter event, which is May 28th. Uh, it's going to be a Tuesday, so that is different than normal, so keep that in mind. Um, the venue will be announced in the email that you all get, um, but the presentations will be on thermal, different topics on thermal comfort. Um, so we're going to have three different presentations, um, two of which, are, or one of which is are led by folks who I think are here tonight, Nathaniel and Ingrid. So um, this should be really awesome. And I hope to see everybody there. Um, so on to tonight. So there will be uh, two presentations tonight, each about 30 minutes. Um, and I can get that queued up. Just also make sure the audio is on. It's on. Okay, cool. Uh, you're on first, right? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Okay. No, nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right, I think we're all good. So, give it up for Arena. talking today about modeling for the 2019 ventilation requirements for multifamily, how they've changed a little bit for code lines, just up at front so we know what we're talking about, and then going into actually doing some modeling with a couple pieces of software today. Um, we have the 2016 software, the 2019 software is in alpha version, so we'll highlight some key points of what might have changed, but um, and we'll talk about when that new software with all of the building will be available. So, No, nope, can't mess up. Okay, don't mess with that. Good to know. Okay, so um, what's changing next code cycle? The great thing is, is that all multifamily is going to be aligning with ASHRAE 62.2. Um, previously, high-rise residential had kind of been doing some of this, but the, the ventilation calculations weren't quite the same. Um, so there was a couple ways of having to look at it. There's going to be some amendments for California requirements for the ASHRAE 62.2, and this is also going to be applicable to any additions of multifamily units in existing buildings as well. We want to talk about low rise and high rise, but they're going to be the same. The only thing we're looking at differently tonight is maybe the modeling differentiation between the two pieces of software that you're going to be looking at, depending if it's that three story or lower versus that four story or higher. So nothing's really changed here too much with the local exhaust, except for our kitchen hood. Big change here in the sense that they have to be vented to the outside and checked by a HERS rater to make sure they're actually meeting the um, sound ratings and they're certified. That's going to bring out a HERS rater on the project, but as far as modeling goes, it doesn't look like too much has been changed within the software at this point in time, but keep an eye out for that one. Uh, MERV 13 filter requirements will be required everywhere, so heads up with that for the designs you guys have around. And this is the big one we're going to be talking about and showing for modeling, the IAQ requirements and the ventilation rate. So they're going to be going to, so the amendments that are happening are the windows are not used for ventilation. We can't rely on the users of the buildings to know when to open their windows when they don't want to to get enough outside air. So continuous mechanical ventilation at all multifamily dwelling units, whether it's high rise or low rise, at the same ventilation rate. We're going to be looking at if they do it intermittently, er, there's a lot of considerations there. We're not going to be talking or showing modeling on that tonight. We're going to be looking at those continuous operations. Um, we're going to also have a bit of a higher ventilation rate due to the entire uh, construction techniques, but the two big items we're going to look at now are the pathways. There's a balanced pathway and an unbalanced pathway to meeting this code requirement. So the ventilation rates have shifted a little, 0 0.03 um, times square footage, 7.5, number of bedrooms plus one. That should look and feel very similar. The only thing that changes is what's there in red for this next code cycle, but now for high-rise multifamily, this is aligning with it should be the same across the multifamily board, thank God. 